Yo, hey everybody. Today I got two important keywords to discuss with you today. Those keywords are break and continue. We'll be using these two keywords in the context of a loop. If you use break, you'll break out of a loop. If you use continue, you'll skip the current cycle of a loop. Imagine you have a remote. Break would be similar to a stop button. Continue would be similar to a skip button. Here's a demonstration of both. We're going to create a for loop that just counts to 10. We'll need a counter, int i, I'll set that equal to 1. We'll continue this loop as long as i is less than or equal to 10. After each cycle, we will increase i by 1. During each cycle of this loop, let's print the following. I'll use printf, we're displaying an integer, we need a format specifier of percent %d, I'll display a new line, and then I will display i. This should display the numbers 1 through 10 which it does, we have 1 through 10. What I would like to do is if i is equal to 4, I would like to break out of this loop. Well, we can use an if statement, then add the break keyword. During each cycle, we'll check the following, if i is equal to 4. If i is equal to 4, then we will break. We will break out of this for loop. Here we are. We have counted 1, 2, 3, once i equals 4, we break. If you ever need to break out of a loop, you can use a break statement. You also see this in switches too. In order to break out of a switch, you need to use a break statement. Break is similar to a stop button on a remote. Now continue will skip the current cycle of a loop. Let's replace break with continue. If i equals 4, we're going to skip the current cycle. As if we're skipping it. 1, 2, 3, 5. We skipped 4. Because we have this continue statement here. We skip the current cycle. Alright everybody, that is a super short lesson for you today. Break breaks out of a loop. Continue will skip the current cycle. And well everybody, that is both break and continue in C.